Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to episode number three of Here to Record's Show and Tell. This is a series all about the gear for live streaming, for event videography and for all sorts of recording, ad events, ad productions, whatever you're doing. This is the place to see all about the gear. So here we go today, we're going to look at the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. This is from Blackmagic Design and this little device will allow you to take a SDI, HDMI feed and send it through to Thunderbolt. Now I don't want to get ahead of myself so let's take a quick look, uh, a little close-up look at the device. On the front you have a little bit of information. On this side we have the Thunderbolt uh, 2 port and on the other side here we go with the HDMI in and the SDI in. And this device is pretty simple. It kind of does what you'd expect it to do. It takes a camera or an input through SDI or through HDMI, sends it out through the Thunderbolt and into your Mac. I'm pointing over there because that's where the Mac is. And, uh, and that's it. Really easy to use, really easy to set up, really easy to get going. Let's just go straight to it. Let's plug it into the computer and uh, let's get things going. You definitely want to remember to pick up a Thunderbolt cable. It does not come in the box. So be sure to buy one and um, then you can actually use the device. Kind of sucks that it doesn't come with a, a cable, but you know, they don't, uh, they don't supply one. So I'm just going to plug this into the computer and bring the computer a little bit closer. And um, now I'm just going to plug it in and I'll take you over to the software so you can see how that all looks. The Blackmagic desktop video utility is the first place to start. This is where you set up the uh, Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. As you can see there, I already have mine connected. And at a glance, I can actually see that the, the video input is set to SDI. It's nice to see, but let's dig in a little further, clicking on the options button. And in here we have the options. So mine's is set to SDI, that's what I usually use, but I can change it to HDMI if I want. Um, I'll just change that back again. I can put on the 1080p SF if I want, but I don't want that. And then I can decide a few little conversion options. Uh, if I want to go from HD to SD or anything like that, just leave that as it is. And then I can see the driver on this, uh, on this device when it was last updated. Um, I don't think there's an update since then, but maybe I can check that after this video. And that's basically how you get it set up. First time you want to uh, set it into the computer and uh, you know change it to SDI if you want SDI, to HDMI if you want HDMI. Um, actually, I'm going to change mine back to HDMI so that I can actually test it with the camera. So let's see this in action. I've got the HDMI cable from that camera right there and I'm going to pop it into the device and head over to the computer and go to Media Express, which is the Blackmagic Design uh, log and capture and playback uh, software. And if I pop over to this log and capture little tab here, you can see me coming in to the camera right there. That's the main camera feed coming into the computer. And this is a good way just to troubleshoot to see if, uh, to see if things are working okay. So now I know the device is set up nicely. It's on HDMI and not SDI and everything is working. So the next thing I like to do is um, live stream to Wirecast. So I'm heading over to Wirecast now and that's what I mainly use this device for is uh, to live stream and to, uh, to upload stuff to, or yeah, to live stream to YouTube uh, via the device out of my ATEM switcher or out of the cameras is the way I used to do it, um, straight into Wirecast. So if I go to my sources settings and I can hopefully see the same uh, mini recorder over on the side, yes I can, and that's sending in that same signal from the, uh, from the camera. So it's as simple as that. I can add a shot, which will be the mini recorder shot. And right here in Wirecast, you can see that that is working pretty nicely. So that's a really simple way to take one camera or multiple cameras, if you have multiple Thunderbolt uh, available slots on your computer, into your computer and you can uh, live stream, you can edit with uh, things like Wirecast and live stream and locally record and all that good stuff through this little tiny device, which is pretty reasonable price and uh, pretty nice and easy to use. One thing I always like to do is talk about pros and talk about cons. So this is uh, such a simple device that there's not too much to talk about. It works really well. In terms of pros, I think that uh, it's really, really uh, inexpensive, I should say, and uh, affordable and you can buy a couple of them as long as you've got the uh, fast enough computer. A couple of them will work really nicely together and that's what I used to do and I can, I can vouch for that to a Mac, you can plug in two of these and uh, a third device for capturing other things over USB and it'll work really well. Another pro I would say is that it has SDI 
and it has HDMI. So if you have uh, consumer cameras or if you have a little more professional cameras, you have good options with this device. It will work for you in both of those scenarios. Perhaps one of the cons I would say would be the fact that it doesn't come with a Thunderbolt cable and that is something you need to make it work. Uh, it would be nice to have even a short one included in the box, um, but I kind of understand why it's not in there because they're kind of expensive, those cables. So that could be a small con, but it's just something to be uh, aware of whenever you're purchasing it, that you can't just bring it home in the box and it's ready to use. You will need to pay for the extra cable. So that's something to definitely consider. And the final thing to consider is the price. Now, the price for this is around £120, and that's excluding VAT. So in your local currency, it may differ a little, but £120 is not too pricey at all for what this device does. So I think that's definitely a, it's definitely a good buy, a definitely a good purchase, and worth the money, even if you want to buy a few of them and use it as a multicam setup into your laptop. Streaming to YouTube via Wirecast, these things work really nicely. And that's it for episode number three with the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in episode number four coming soon.